talking to Simon, which... <laughs> so, according to Tweak and Aaron and many other uh, Diddy Kong players, uh, Pac-Man is one of, if not Diddy's worst matchups. Uh, Simon is just one of the ones that's awkward, because Simon can control space very well, but he also gets bullied once you hit him. <laughs> So it just comes down to, like, you don't end up risking yeah, a lot. He, like, he sets up an entire obstacle course that you need to get around. And, like, it's it's hard. Yeah. But, like, once you're through it, like, I wouldn't say he's, like, completely defenseless. But he is just, it's, it's night and day, the difference, if you're able to get in. Like, he doesn't really have, like, fast CQC stuff, you know, uh, versus, like, like, other zoners. You know, like, you know, the villager nair or pac-man right almost every aerial honestly that character is very fast um <laughs> <laughs> pac-man's kind of fucked guys yeah <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah um you know he, he definitely wants to set up his zone uh one thing that we've seen previously at, on xeno uh streams uh from dark falcon uh or i uh, guess melee yeah melee. uh was that this stage is actually very good for Belmont because of like the angle of like that he throws the holy water and like from the platforms and stuff like it just covers so much space. But it doesn't matter because Infernape's gonna take that first stop. Oh yeah, and the I want to see almost a little bit more of that upbeat even when you're in midair getting comboed from uh, Dorcasaurus. It is Belmont doesn't have many of those combo breakers and those get off me tools as you were mentioning, Devin. But yeah. That upbeat is frame five. It, I, frame, I believe it's frame five. Frame four or five. Insanely fast. Reaches a uh, reaches a solid vertical. So Diddy can't play at that diagonal consistently. But Infernape's just basically countering a lot of the zone that Dork, uh, Dorkosaurus wants to set up, whether it be with fares or projectiles, with pristine patience and that intent that a uh, intangible banana toss. Intent. That's not the right word. Uh, but Banana Toss is just so unbelievably powerful at forcing Belmont off of their off of their flow chart and then allowing Diddy just to run straight in. A little better set up to such a and, and when it comes to grounded poke game, uh, Belmont will have a lot of the advantages with down angled back air, um, forward tilt in general, and much many, many uses of this cross. But there's almost too many approaching projectiles. He's using these platforms well, but almost trying to trying to force the platform engagement when Infernape is saying, okay, I will wait for your American air dodge and blow you up for it. <laughs> what air dodge? The American air dodge. What is that? It's when you air dodge uh, just straight in toward the stage without thinking. Ah, yeah, I see. It's coined by Mexican players, so. That's you know. very funny. <laughs> All right, so we're seeing that uh, Infernape is getting rid of Hollow Bastion and uh, Battlefield. So, okay, yeah. like it's almost interesting that the counter pick is immediately to Small Battlefield. As much as, like, as much as Belmont and many characters really enjoy just the biplat layout, and many players in general, like two platforms is just the, a certain happy medium for a lot of uh, mm -hmm. components. Uh, as I think someone is adjusting some of their controls. Definitely looks like it's Darkosaurus, uh, considering we can see yeah. Infernape's hands. Oh, um, yeah, true. <laughs> true that. <laughs> Interesting that they're... Uh, I mean, do you think this is just a... Maybe it's a character swap, yeah. so it's different, different loadout. He just changed stick sensitivity, though, didn't he? Or maybe... I was, mean, was there one other button in there? I don't know. Weird. Uh, I mean, he did type in another name, didn't he? Yeah, he typed in low. And, and so maybe that's low sen sensitivity? Yeah. Uh, so I'm, maybe we'll see a uh, character swap. I really think if he has a Pac-Man, he should use it. Like, the... Oh. Yeah, we're, we're seeing these two, like, trying to... Like, trying to set up each other. Uh, trying to set up the tags in the, in the names, and oh, no. Yeah, no, they're, they're uh, uh oh, <laughs> freaking amiibos. <laughs> yes, yeah, like, I I choose to have player three in yeah. this round. <laughs> you guys can't see, but like on the game, they were trying to just like swap ports, and so when they didn't like completely click it, click it out, and so it was just on the amiibo like uh, character thing. There they are, and there they used to go. Uh oh, where are we going, what, guys? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> we're on a journey today. Truly, we're, we're going on a trip. <laughs> It's like, what part of the Switch menu can we go to today? Nope. <laughs> All right. 
All right, and now we gotta disconnect that controller, get into the new one, maybe. Okay, it's player three. <laughs> All right, now, this is now Dill is, is that Dill? That's no, helper, no, that's for helper. sure. <laughs> like, help, please, help her be helping. Crazy how maybe like, maybe someone had like uh, their wireless controller had connected or something. Yeah, I uh, yeah. How though? Oh, uh, well, I guess there were people playing beforehand, but yeah, it went through game one just fine. And you would think players like you know Sylvia, Dark Blues, who were there prior, like disconnect your pro yeah, controllers. There, uh, guys. I mean, there was someone else. So yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, this is quite silly. Oh wait, this was the person, Devin, that asked like if we could. Like, depending, if there was restrictions on controllers. This is not that person. This no. is not that person? No. Are you sure? sure? Yes. Yes, he had a different mask. Yeah, so I had a different shirt. The guy was wearing blue. Okay, completely blended in then. Yeah. As we're going in. We're, we're, we're finally selecting characters. It is... Mewtwo. Okay, so it is a character swap. Yes. Character swap on both ends. Uh, we're going to have Infernape swapping over to the Greninja. Ooh, so is Infernape just... Uh, Saying like I'm up a game, uh, let's just see what happens. And if there's any character to pick up, like Greninja is solid character for sure. Oh, amazing! Yeah. And very, very almost criminally under uh, underplayed. I know mm -hmm. uh, Luminous is trying to uh, from New Jersey, Central yeah. Jersey is trying to pick up a he's Greninja. A, he's a pit main, right? Yeah, yeah. But knows that pit excels in neutral, but character players and play styles where it's like I need something more off of one hit. Yeah. Uh, Greninja can do that very well. Low dash is insane, and some really, really great frame data up front on top of a frame two air dodge, combined with the insane double jump, makes him very threatening. But also, he plays. It's almost like you're playing without a shield button, which can be very hard to adapt to. Uh huh. Oh yeah, uh, the, you know, because like he's just gonna be moving around a lot. Yeah. And did he? No, he didn't save him. But. Just trying to, yeah, fair enough. Like, you're at that range with it where Infernip where you can just sit there and, and space out forward airs. Uh, fair is uh, insanely big, but also, and, and a little bit slow, but also insanely safe. And you can just play the dashback game pretty much all day as Greninja when you're up a stock or even on even stocks, even percentages. Like, mm -hmm. Anisha, uh, Greninja can mix around with initial dash and sprinkle in dash attacks all day long, and, as well as these jump fares and jump in airs that Infernip is holding together with pretty well. Ambitious up smash, I would say. <laughs> but he wraps right. it up. So, yeah, even stocks. Uh, Third source, not really too far behind. 50%, you know, uh, if you get, like, a good hit in, uh, can close that up. Oh, yeah. But not really going to get the hits that he needs. And Fernape just yeah. build him. Yeah, just slowly, like, steady, picking, picking away and playing that... Playing that well-spaced game overall, like another forward air in the corner, that one actually closing out the stock, and Mewtwo, yeah. plenty of survivability, uh, not much survivability, and plenty of kill power when you find the hits as Infern, as a, uh, I want as Infernape and as Greninja. I almost want to see them uh, try and pivot a little bit more into back airs, just as a means of extending their advantage a little more. It looks like Infernape is hard tunneling on a lot of uh, up air follow-ups, yeah. which are certainly good. But I mean, Dorkazaurus is kind of going for a lot of Hail Marys as well. Like, look, that, this is like the fourth uh, forward smash that we've seen that's kind of been like point blank. At first, it was like sort of like a reset setup from the confusion, uh, right. but now it's just kind of like, please die, and like Infernape just kind of... No. What is it, lapping over with this percent on the stock lead? Yeah, and it's a lot of ultimate classic isms. Like, I'm just going to try and throw out smash attacks to buffer, spot dodge into yep. spot dodge Hail Mary, spot dodge into dash attack. Mm -hmm. like, All right. Missing some of the 50-50s, though. Like, if there's anything we can say from Infernape's uh, Greninja, it's that it's really solid in... Really, really solid in getting the hit, but oftentimes doesn't find the appropriate follow-up quite yet, which just comes with time, and it's these bracket matches that really help you out with that because you get to actively see, oh, I missed my follow-up, and then neutral was reset. Ooh. 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 Oh, but he looks for a forward throw instead of just forward smash there. Like, that was, I believe that was game. <laughs> that up tail, that up tail beat out the, the back air, just stuffed it. Mewtwo's tail, so big, LOL. <laughs> All right, that's the don't touch I me. Don't think that he's... better be true. <laughs> I don't think Infernape has won a 
a 50-50 yet. Like, this man doesn't do coin flips well, but everything else is fine. Back That's throw, it, up throw, yeah. up throw, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what a game. What a game we play. Yep. Uh, I don't hate it, though. Like, it was... Oops, I mean, sorry. the game one was kind of unfortunate from uh, every perspective, if you're Dorcasaurus. But at the very least, in this game two, he ha he played a better, like mm -hmm. he played a better combo state in the sense of when he was getting comboed, those didn't last for long. And at least you can pat yourself on the back for that. But no, that was actually a setup. That was good. Yeah, but losing neutral just over and over again with Storkosaurus and it part and part of it was just these these confusions like if you can play that stock back sure uh, look at it. one of them gets hit gets punished for it could have died but gets punished and two <laughs> it's like maybe he's using it as an air stall which can be good yeah it's here, not here comes the don't touch me it's just like it's just at 149 like nothing's true here die stupid <laughs> it's pretty funny and I guess that, that's that, it's honestly an appropriate punish for Greninja as we see the up throw close out the stock. Where you, if Greninja is going to try and set up this forward air and force you and put you in a position where you all you the only option you think you have is air dodge, mm -hmm. then counter pokes can be really good. But it was the lather rinse repeat of every situation was just so yep. unbelievable from Infernape.